Okay, so knocking Gorok World Music Festival in the Scottish Borders. I think we'll call this the tent and the fans of knocking Gorok. So yesterday I spotted a Unimog truck, but there seems to be a lot of sprinters and handling again. Right over here, left. Jobbies out of Port Lewis. Shite sucker. A shite sucker. But on some kind of base level, one of the most important jobs in society is removing rubbish <laughs> and poop away from human beings. We wouldn't survive very long, would we? We wouldn't survive very long if. We were swimming in shit, pan right down to the right and left. Something else I should have spot, pointed out. Now, pop festivals are dead popular in Scotland. Outdoor pop festivals are dead popular in Scotland, which is insane because of the weather here. As you can see from the skies, we're lucky if we got 100 dry days a year. I was hoping that with climate change that would be better, but I don't think it has been. Do a bit of banging around. <coughs> so a lot of what we've got here, old transits, city sprinters have been very, very popular. Uh, something I didn't point out yesterday that I should have is I've got over 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Hey, come on, use both hands, Scott. That's wobbly. My subscribers expect a better standard of around the right up. Expect a better standard of uh, filming in this. So show them the white tent. Right, it's got over 200 subscribers on YouTube, which thank you very much, everybody that's decided to subscribe. Considering it's just me talking to my phone, I think that 200 is just uh, amazing, you know. So let's walk in and show them. Right, so the main festival's over. Where Scott's point, and that's not where we're working. I was going to show them the big Mongols hi fi sound system. Right, so this is the, 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 the workplace for the next few days. Our uh, guy's job's like three must be strong as an ox, which they think of it. So we're working in here for the next few days. I'll do a rig rundown on the Mongo system, but it's a, an old school reggae PA system. These are void acoustic top boxes. I think there's a 12 or a 10 in there, a two inch and a one inch up the top, the great sounding boxes. Below that, they use these things called a kick base cabinet. There's a pair of twin 15s folded round in the horn in there. I believe the manufacturer's pre precision devices. And I think the driver itself is called a PD-1550, which has got a massive big magnet on the top of it. So the attack on the upper base is extraordinary. And these big kickers at the bottom are reggae scoop base bins. They're all loaded with Precision devices, PD 1850s, which are remarkable big drivers. It's got a five, five inch voice coil on it, so the voice coil is absolutely massive. There's not very manufacturers put a five inch on the back of an 18 inch driver. It's a seven foot folded horn from the speaker round to the horn at the front. And by the time you put four of them together, that must be what, three metres wide? They all couple together, the resonant frequency of the box is about 30 cycles, so when you put four of them together it will drop way below 20. 
I've got the same over the other side, so it's insanely powerful. I don't know if the Mongols guys, yeah, they have. Everything they use to drive it are these power soft amplifiers. The four channels, and I think they're about 5,000 watts a channel, so that's 10 kilowatts there, another 10 kilowatts here, another 10 kilowatts there, another 10 kilowatts down the bottom, so that's 40,000 watts of uh, amplification on, on the system. And it's not a particular big system, so 40 kilowatts is just remarkable, isn't it? Anyway, time for me to start work. We'll have a better look at it and maybe get some some more videos up later on, but we are working. The guys control the system via a little Midas digital mixing desk. I've got my own one here for doing the bands and stuff like that, so... Is this of interest to anybody? I don't know. But this is my office for the next few days. On a... Not very sunny day in the Scottish borders. Hope the, the weather picks up. I really enjoy doing this uh, festival. There's a lot of people get very drunk. I drink quite a lot, so when I come down here I don't drink. And everybody seems to get fairly mashed up, and I don't. So I'm about one of the only sober, unstoned, unstoned people at the whole site. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.